Welcome to part two of our look at the Excel count functions. In this video, we'll be looking at two functions, uh, slightly more advanced than the ones we looked at in our last video, which allow us to start applying uh, criteria to the function to determine the values that are, we, are contributed to what we're going to count. Uh, so we will, in the usual form, we'll jump into each of the formulas so we can get an understanding of how they work. And then from there, we'll be jumping into Excel to work through some examples. So the first formula we have is count if. Count if has uh, two parts to the formula. So we've got the first part is range. Uh, this is the range of cells to count. And another way to look at it is where do you want to look? I'll come back to that in a second. And the second part is criteria. So by definition, the criteria that controls which cells should be counted. So you can see there, I've also got um, in quotations, a simplified way to look at the criteria. So when you look at them together, range is where do you want to look? And criteria is what do you want to look for? And you can see at the end, at the bottom there, that you've got the count if formula in its entirety with range and criteria for your reference. The second and last formula we're looking at is count ifs. So this is made up of four parts. Uh, the first is criteria range one. So this is the first range to evaluate. Criteria two is the criteria to use on range number one. Uh, number three, we've got criteria range number two. So this is the second range to evaluate. And number four, what we have there is criteria two. So this is the criteria to use on range number two. And with count is, you're not limited to just these two um, ranges and criteria. You can add more. Um, but to try and simplify it into well, and what will fit on the page, we've just gone with these two examples to start with. So count ifs is the same purpose as our count if. Um, but to summarize that better, so count if allows us to count an, um, a range based on one piece of criteria, whereas count if allows us to enter multiple pieces of criteria. So rather than uh, count if, what might say count everything what happened on a Monday, count if would allow us to do count everything on a Monday and also um, that aligns to a particular person or, or person's name or any other piece of information that you require. And at the bottom there, you've got the count this formula in its entirety as well. So without further delay, we'll jump into Excel and go through some examples. The information that we have in our table in columns A to C will seem very familiar to you, um, assuming that you have seen our previous videos, one for sums and the part one of the count um, video series. One below that, we've then got in lines 13 and 14, we've got some questions to answer. So the number of sales on a Monday, and the number of sales on a Monday that were made by Tim. So before we actually put the formula in there, we're going to go over the right hand side in columns G to I and we'll dissect each formula and just do the various um, separate parts so we're completely clear before we actually go into the actual formula. So for the first one, we're going to use a count if to answer the number of sales made on a Monday. So as we know, range is going to contain uh, the, the, the various values um, that we want to count um, for our count criteria. So based on the first one, the number of cells on a Monday, we need our range to be where all the days of the week are contained. So for us, we can see that they're in column A, rows two to nine. So what we do, we can just go in here and go, it's gonna be column A, starting in row two, comma, well not comma, sorry, a colon, and then A nine to show the ending point. So that's our full range. Our range is in rows and column A, or cell reference A2 to A9 to put it another way. And let's just center this just so it looks a bit neater on the page. Perfect. So the criteria, uh, number of cells on the Monday. So we need to look in that range of A2 to A9 and count when the value is a Monday. So to do that, we need to enter in quotations our text of Monday, what we want to count for. And that's it. That's the two um, arguments that we need to enter into our formula uh, to get the number of uh, the number of sales that are made on Monday. So let's just now go to our formula here for the number of sales on Monday, and we can enter that in in our formula. So what we need to do is equal or enter our equal sign, followed by the count if formula, and open our brackets. 
So we know from uh, row two of column I here that our range is A2 to A9, so we can simply select that. We then hit our comma to move on to the second part of the formula. And this is our criteria. So we want it to be Monday, or we want to count where it's Monday. So what we do is in quotations, we can type Monday, close quotations, and also close our brackets, and hit enter. And we're given the value or the number of three. So we are told that there were three sales that were made on a Monday. So yes, we can see that there's one, two, three. So three times when Monday appears in our range of A2 to A9. So that's our first question answered with the count if formula. And we could use that for column B if we wanted to count the number of sales um, an individual made, such as Tim or any of those guys you see there. But obviously for our question and example here, we looked at the number of sales on Monday, which is number three. So the next formula we have to look at is the count ifs. So this follows exactly the same format as count if, apart from we're able to enter multiple ranges and criteria for those ranges. So our question, the number of sales on Monday by Tim. So to start off, it's gonna be exactly the same as our count if, so we've got the same range of A2 to A9 Ooh, done that. to A9 and obviously the criteria for that range so criteria 1 coincides with range 1 and we know that is going to be Monday and quotations and then oh there's a mistake here this should actually be range 2 and criteria 2 so I'll just confuse there. So criteria one is going to be exactly the same as what we did in our count if because it's going to do that first part there to identify how many sales were on a Monday. We were then able to, in our count ifs, um, include a second, and obviously we could include more, but for this example we're only using two. We've got a second range to understand of those sales made on the Monday, we only want to count those made by Tim. So what we need to do for that is understand where um, Tim or the names are going to appear and they will be in column B. So it's going to be the range of B2 to B9. So we can enter that into here. So we've got B2 to B9. And then the criteria for this one is, of course, the name Tim. So once again, quotations, Tim, and close quotations. So count ifs in this example here is just an extension of our count if to include this second piece of criteria to only count where um, Tim is the salesman or name. To enter that formula and answer our question over here for the number of sales on Monday by Tim, this time we do equals and we type in count if with an S, count ifs, and open our brackets. So we can look back here, so we can see our criteria range one is what we're being requested for, and we know that is A2 to A9, so let's enter that there. We'll hit the comma to move into the next part, and we can now see that we're being asked for the criteria for range one. So that is Monday, so we will just type it in Monday. Comma again to get to the criteria range two, what we know is going to be B2 to B9, so where our names are. So you can select them. And when we're using when you're dealing with multiple ranges, you will notice that the, the color used to highlight the range changes. So we've got blue for our first one and red for our second. So this helps to um, differentiate between the two. So you can see that what's looking at what. And also those ranges will be color coded in the text that you see in the formula. So you see our A2 to A9 is the blue color to match with the, the day range. And the B2 to B9 for name is coincides with the name color. So it just makes it a lot easier when you're looking back to work out where your range is or what cell you're referencing. So this is our second range, so B2 to B9. And then we need to hit our comma again. And this time our criteria is Tim. So we'll add Tim's name into quotations. And close brackets. What you can see here is that as the formula extends, you can see if we add another comma, we could then enter a third criteria range and obviously criteria to search for in or count for in that range but again in us so you're free free to continue doing that if you're you know, had a question or a scenario where you need to do more than just two pieces of criteria but for our example we're just in the two so I hit the close brackets and hit enter 
Okay, so this we've now got two. So what our answers tell us, so we know there's a total of three sales on Monday, of which two of those sales were made by Tim. So only one other person or one other sale was made by someone else that day. And we can simply check that because we're able to see that we've got Monday by Tim here. And we've also got a Monday by Tim here. And the end of Monday was John. So that makes sense. So we had a Monday in two, five and six, what gave us our three. But of those, only rows two and six were made by Tim on the Monday. So that's all we're counting there. Thank you for watching this second video on the Excel count functions. Uh, please help us to reach more people by giving this video a like and share with any of your friends or anyone who could benefit from learning how to do these formulas in Excel. Also again, as usual, if you have any questions, drop us a comment below or reach out to us on Facebook, uh, links in description, and we'll see you real soon in the next video.